All right, guys, today, nothing in the ear sticks. They're brand new earbuds. These are open-ended earbuds. No silicone tips on these. So very similar to the AirPod 3s, AirPod 2s, the original AirPods. No silicone tips. So if these are not for you, yeah, maybe you can hang around anyway and check out the nothing ear sticks. So very unique design, just like nothing brings us. I do like their design. No matter what they're giving us, whether it's the phone the earbuds and nothing ear ones or these very unique right that see-through design on here and the case on here is very different you spin this it opens up you spin it back and it does close now this is the packaging simple box looks like a toothpaste box in my opinion the one thing i don't like about the packaging and you guys drop some comments and let me know how you feel about this i love boxes like when i have all my tech i save the boxes no matter what i save them i like them I like to keep it all together. This you have to kind of tear open, which is always disappointing when I have to ruin a box. But that is the packaging. Inside of the packaging, we get the ear sticks. We also get this, which had the USB-C to USB-C and the paperwork in it to charge these guys up. Now, the actual earbuds again. On the side here, you can see the USB-C port to charge. And this is our pairing button here. That silver button is our pairing button. And again, to open these up, you just turn this very smooth. And then we take a look at the actual nothing ear stick. So again, stem style design, right? Stem style, you can see how unique, that unique nothing design that we get on their earbuds. And then we have the other side of the earbuds. Very clean, very nice. I do like the look of these. And these are lightweight. You're going to be able to wear these for extended periods of time. Let's throw them in. Do a mic test. You guys can see how they look while I do a mic test. All right, guys. It's the mic test for the Nothing Ear Sticks. Three mics on each earbud. And overall, I think these do a very good job with phone calls. I think it's clear. I haven't had any issues while I've been on the phone with these. Overall, I think they do a great job. Stem style, right? Usually, the mics are a little longer, a little closer to our mouths. And I think these do a good job. Let me know. Drop some comments. All right, guys. I want to take a quick minute to talk about something very important. Beats for Hope and El Jefe Reviews, they've been working together for a while with Jeff's line of t-shirts and hoodies and apparel, and we are going to help support that here on the channel. So 100% of the proceeds for every t-shirt sold will go and help feed a family and give a meal to a family in need. This is his latest design here, supporting and honoring his late and beautiful wife, Paloma, who sadly passed away recently. So 100% of the proceeds, guys, will go towards feeding a family. You get a dope t-shirt and you get to help support this fantastic cause. We are using our platforms as creators to help put food on the table for local families in need. There are t-shirts, hoodies, women's shirts available in all sizes ranging from small to 5X. Again, it's a win-win. You get a dope shirt. You get to help feed a family in need. Beats for Hope is a nonprofit that is a volunteer-based company and a unique platform that brings music and people together to make a difference in the community. Now, the rest of the specs on the Nothing Ear Sticks, Bluetooth 5.2, SBC, and AAC, they are your codex. There is an app, and inside of the app, we do have some things that are very good. We do have in-ear detection. We do have customizable, well, for the most part, customizable touch controls, and these are squeeze to touch, so you're gonna take them out, you're gonna squeeze, you get that little click. If you ever have used AirPods, you get that little sound. It's basically the same sound that we get when we squeeze the AirPod Pros. Overall, I think they do a really good job with the touch controls, but we'll look at that inside of the app because some things you can customize and others you cannot. Now there is a gaming mode on here, so it does help with latency when you are playing games like Call of Duty. Google Fast Pair, find my buds inside of the app as well. And the app is available on iOS and Android devices. Seven hours of battery life and 29 total, around 29 total with the case. A 10 minute charge will get you another two hours of battery life. No wireless charging on these earbuds and 12.6 millimeter dynamic drivers on these earbuds. But right now we're gonna take a look at the app. All right, once you pair these into Bluetooth, you're gonna open up the app again, available on iOS and Android devices and you will pair it inside of the app. It comes up as ear sticks. It does give us the battery percentages right here on both the left and the right earbud. And on the bottom, you can see we have controls and we have EQ. So let's talk about the controls first. So it does say right here on the bottom, not customizable. So your single pinch, you cannot customize. 
and that is you're playing pause and answer and, and a phone call. Now you're double pinch, you're triple pinch, and you're pinch and hold, and you can add double pinch and hold if you want. You can customize them out of the box. I like how they have it. Then you do have volume control out of the box. If you just pinch and hold on your earbuds, the volume will go up and the volume will go down on what well, and the volume will go down depending on which earbud you are holding. So the touch controls on here, I have no issues with at all. And I do think the squeeze the touch works very well. I think it works every time. It's very smooth. And I do like how the responsiveness of it is. It does, it just works and it works very nicely. Now, we also have the EQ on here. So even though these are open-ended earbuds, right? If you're looking for that thumper, if you're looking for that crazy bass, and we'll talk about sound quality in a little bit, but again, open-ended earbuds, they're not meant for that. Well, they're not meant for that, but we're not going to get that no matter what, which is why open-ended earbuds always have big drivers in them to kind of push as much sound as we can get, as much volume as we can get, and as much sound quality as we can get. Now, we do have some things in here that we can change. We can get a balanced sound, a little more bass, and you know, you do get a little more bass, but again, it's still not gonna be that bass that just, you know, that us bass lovers love. You do have voice and more treble, and you can go in and you can customize it and, you know, bring up the bass, bring up the mids, whatever you wanna do, you can do that. Now, if we go back, you click on the little settings tab up here, this is where you go in and you're gonna have your in-ear detection. You can turn that on or off. Out of the box, it does come already on, so you don't have to worry about if it's on or not. This is your low lag mode. This is your gaming mode. So when you are gaming, you wanna go in, you wanna turn that on. Now you do have a cool thing here. Find my earbuds, I'll take this out. You might be able to hear it. it does play, Let's see if you can hear that. Play it again. Play one more time. So it does play this little tone and it lets you find your earbud. Now, there is a firmware update. When you first get these, you will have to go in and do a firmware update. It only takes about five minutes. And that's really about it inside of this app. Again, I'm just happy we have an app. We have some controls that we can customize. We have some EQ settings that we can play with and, and try and get these to sound the way that we really want them to sound. And again, I think if you buy these, you already know what you're getting into with open-ended earbuds, but they are very, very comfortable. You're gonna be able to wear these for a very long time, about seven hours of battery life on here, and you're gonna be able to wear them for literally the whole time. They're very lightweight and very comfortable, and they do fit in my ears very well. Now I did mention about the gaming mode or the low lag mode inside of the app and watching content on here, whether that is on or off, I haven't really experienced any delay between audio and video, watching YouTube, Amazon, anything like that, you're gonna be fine, whether that is on or off. Now, if you do play games, turn it on, it will drain your battery faster, but games like Call of Duty, you should, should be fine. Like I haven't really noticed anything too bad. Again, I am not a big gamer, you guys know this. I do not game on my phone, but I do try it for the videos. And it, it seems to be good, in my opinion, when you are playing games like Call of Duty. Sound quality and volume. These things are really loud. You're not gonna have an issue. You guys know I like loud music. This is way more than I need, more than enough for anyone. These things will hurt your ears if you listen to them at full volume. Just be aware of that. They get very loud. So I know a lot of you guys that follow me and that hang out in the community, you like loud music, or you just want that option to turn it up as loud as you want every now and then. These will give you that without any issues at all. Now the sound quality on here, look, these sound good. They're clear. They're an open sound. There's good bass, not great bass. They're open-ended earbuds. You can, you know, it's there. The bass is there and you can hear it in every song, but it's not going to overpower you. You're not going to, you're not going to experience that crazy bass thump that we like as bass heads, but it is there. These sound good and you can bring out a little more bass inside of the app. It does a slight, gives it a slight bit more, but again, it's nothing you're going to ever feel. You can, you can kind of tell it's there. You can hear it, but it's, you're never going to feel it on these earbuds but they sound good. The clarity is good. The mids sound good. The mids are very clear and detailed. The highs are good. For a hundred bucks, they're a really good pair of open-ended earbuds. So who are these for? These are for people, there's a lot of you guys out there that do not like silicone tips. And I used to be one of them. I preferred 
And I wore the original AirPods and the AirPods 2 for a very long time because I did not like silicone tips. I didn't like that feeling of it inside of my ear. That has changed, and I now prefer those just because of sound quality, not really comfort. I still prefer these when it comes to comfort. So if you want a very comfortable pair of earbuds that sound good, that get very loud, that have some really cool and unique features and a really cool and unique look in my opinion. Again, we get the gaming mode, we get the in-ear detection, we get app support with the EQ that will, I'm sure, continue to get firmware updates. And they are unique looking. These will be a conversation starter in my opinion. And again, very comfortable. You're gonna be able to wear these. Now, what are they missing? I would like to see wireless charging on here. And that's really it in my opinion. You know, you don't need to worry about ANC and transparency mode on open-ended earbuds. Transparency mode is irrelevant. You're gonna hear your outside surroundings anyway using a pair of earbuds like this. And ANC just won't work on a pair of earbuds like this because you're not getting that seal that we can get from silicone tips. But the nothing ear sticks, they are worth the price in my opinion. They are a very cool looking pair of earbuds and they're pretty good in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of the Nothing Ear Sticks. That's it, guys. I'll be back soon. Peace.